G'day, Daniel here from Vertec IT Services. This is cybersecurity tip number 71. I just smashed my hand, that hurt. Okay, title. Who's that? All right. Talking about contractors. Uh, contractors are often used by organizations to get certain problems done uh, within a short period of time frame. They don't want to employ somebody to do the, to the, do the task. Sometimes those things extend over time. Now, one of the things I've noticed is that generally, when you're hiring somebody, you will go through a whole stack of checks to make sure that they're right fit for your organization. That doesn't quite go the same way with, regard, with regards to contractors, right? Often, um, you're not gonna be doing background checks, certainly not police checks. Uh, are people's references even, even checked? Because you figure that like, if they can't do the job, they'll be out in the area real quick. There's no fuss, no muss, right? Now, obviously, that's a bit of a worry. Who knows where they've come from, what they've done. Um, because the next thing that usually happens is they get given a, get a um, domain administrator account or some kind of account within the organization, which might be uh, just a little bit too much access for their role. Um, and that enables them to have a look into all sorts of stuff. That's generally kind of how it rolls that I've seen. Um, the passwords may not have been set to, like the account may never have been set to expire out. Like if they're hired for three months, but the login never expires. And because often people have fairly lax um, HR exit procedures, the IT team, such as ourselves, may never ever get to hear about it, right? So and the account just sits there forever. I mean, maybe they're good people and they, they, they don't abuse it, but it's a risk, right? Anyway, the, the last thing is that you've got unknown kit, unknown types of equipment. What, what have they got? They're bringing it, they're gonna come into your network. At the very least, they're gonna be sitting on your wireless network. Um, and, and then able to access all of your resources. But what if they don't need to do anything? What if they just hire, if they're only hired there to work on the marketing, they just need access to your LinkedIn page, Facebook or whatever, they can do that from any internet connection, right? Why not just use the guest network, right? So, uh, and, and put set some policies in place where you insist that, look, if, if you're using your own kit, um, here, is, here are our standards and you have to approve it, right? Before you're allowed onto our systems. Okay, so here's some, some thoughts that business owners should consider when they're looking at uh, contractors. I hope you find that useful. Cheers.